fourth German film we commemorate 30th year of the fall of the Berlin Wall. If you're a film buff who is intrigued by the idiosyncratic appeal of German film, you're in for a movie of going free. The fourth edition of the German Film Week, which begins its seven-day run at FM McGammel and FM City Manila on November 6, allows the East not just to mull over Germany's role in shaping history, but also to see if movies outside the art house confines of such delectable cinematic treats as Chris Lang's visionary metropolis, Rainer Werner, the singer's character driven twist, Wim Wenders' introspective dramas, Lenny Riefen's self polarizing propaganda films, and Werner Herzog's riveting documentary. The festival, which opens with the screening of Michael Curtis Balloon on November 6 at FM City Manila, will commemorate the 30th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall with a 12 Tyson title lineup. Tickets are priced at T100 with 50 for some discounts for students. Note, we aren't just talking about recent award winners and contenders, like Glory and Henkel von Donner's Mark Foster winning the likes of others, 2006. Leander Houseman's Berlin Blues, 2003, Christian Kessel's Barbara, 2012, or Wolfgang Becker's Berlin Winning Goodbye, Lennon, 2003. Some of them are fresh off the oven, so who? Speak like Sherry Foreman's The Regular Women, 2019, as well as Glory and David Sick 100 Things, Marcus H. Rosen Lures the Keeper, Wolfgang Blues Will Speak, Andreas Dressen, Sunderman and Caroline Link All About Me, all released in 2018. If you belong to the so-called terror set, a term that sounds almost obsolete in a world that is expected to observe political correctness at all times, you will find it ironically stifling to see how the horrors of being an independent-minded female are played out in regular women. Protagonist Kate Maynard Shalutu is a German woman, Almila Vabriotic, with Turkish and Kurdish roots living in Berlin whose liberal beliefs are in constant conflict with the values of her devout Muslim family. Intriguingly, the gorgeously photographed production begins, after a nerd falls victim to honor killing in 2005, slain by her brother Marie. Her struggle for a self-determined life starts when she's pulled out of school to be married off to Bob, her much older cousin, in a son duel. She stirs up a hornet's nest when she breaks tradition and decides to leave her abusive husband during the last trimester of her pregnancy. She then returns to Berlin and pursues the life of a free woman. To make ends meet, she works as the only female electrician of her company. It's a difficult situation that comes to a head when Anna's new home freedom and golden purpose stop wearing her head start and start dating a Caucasian biker, Jacob Matchen. But Murray isn't content merely disowning Ayer, who's now considered a constant source of embarrassment for her family in their Muslim neighborhood. The quirky, crispy and breezy comedy 100 Things takes place in a more contemporary setting, tackling relatable themes that merge friendship and materialism and the things that matter most in life. It follows the story of business partners and bosom buddies Paul Connest, Florian David Six, who also directs the film and Anton Katz, Matthias Schneidhofer, whose enduring friendship is put to the test after they cross paths with American venture capitalist, David Sutherman, Arson Gill. During a drunken rant, Paul and Anton make a bet to find out who can go longer without material possessions. They decide to relinquish all their worldly belongings for 100 days, during which they get that when I meet they throw the bet is called art. But the competition gets murkier when a deal grazing, estrogen fueled element is introduced into the game, the mysterious Lucy, Myriam Stein. The keeper retraces wartime history by revisiting the true story of German soldier Bert Trotman, David Cross, and English woman Margaret Pryor, Freya Neighbor. They meet and fall in love at a camp for prisoners of war near Manchester at the end of World War II, but even as the star-crossed lovers struggle to overcome prejudice, public hostility and tragedy, Bert and Margaret emerge from the ashes of war banking on Bert's prodigious talent as a goalkeeper in football, which eventually endears him to his British captors. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.